Hey guys, Dave here. I want to share a story with you that changed my life. Now, I've never heard God audibly speak to me. I kind of picture him sounding like James Earl Jones with his big, booming, deep voice. He's never spoken to me that way. Now, I felt him kind of whisper into my mind and my heart many, many times. But there was one time in particular that's as close to him audibly speaking as I've ever heard. And the two-word message from God that he gave me in a desperate time has carried me through an awful lot. And I want to share it with you because I believe it's a message that he would also use to encourage you. It was several years back, a time in my life when it seemed like nothing was working. My job was stressful. Uh, my family was stressed out. It seemed like every door I was trying to open stayed shut. And that's a frustrating place to be. And maybe you can relate. Maybe you're in a place right now where it seems like everything you try fails. And the stress just keeps mounting and you don't know what to do. And then on top of all this, if I'm honest, even though I was praying, I was kind of angry with God. I was angry because I felt like He wasn't giving me any answers or any direction. And I just couldn't keep up the pace that I was doing. And so one night, sitting at the couch in the living room, <clears throat> keeping up this routine that had gone on for way too long with me just complaining to my sweet wife about how bad things were and how stressed I was, and she's doing her best to encourage me. And, and finally, I, I get up and I start kind of stomping around the room like a spoiled toddler. And I'm actually talking to God in a very frustrated way. And I'm saying, Lord, if you would just show me what to do, if you would just give me some kind of answer here, I would do it. But you've got to tell me something. God, what do you want me to do? Tell me and I will do it. And I said that and I plopped back down on the couch just feeling completely deflated and defeated. And I threw my feet up on the ottoman, and my wife said, you got a sticker on your foot. And she reached over, and she plucked it off, and she looked at it, and her eyes got so big as she read the message on the sticker. And even though I'm sure it's a sticker that my children left and didn't pick up like they were supposed to, I am 100% convinced that that sticker was actually a message from God that he wanted me to read in that moment. And that sticker just said two words on it, but those two words... It carried me through so much, and now I've got it in the very front of my Bible, on the very first page, that sticker. And the two-word message is simply, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whatever you are going through right now, whatever hardship you might be facing in your marriage, whatever difficulty you might be facing at work or in your family or in your finances, I believe that you're not stumbling across this very low-tech video for nothing. I think that God wanted to give you a message, and that message is keep going. Keep going. He is with you. He says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Keep going, because he says you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. And keep going, because he says he'll work all things together for your good. So don't lose hope, because whatever you're facing it, I can promise you God has a purpose for it, and he is going to bring good out of it. Thanks for taking, taking the time to watch this. I pray that that message he gave me is one that he's also given you right now and that you receive it and are encouraged by it. God bless you. Don't give up. Keep going.